Girl, I get the money with him, me to my you know. All right, you guys. So first things first, I'm gonna be starting off with priming my skin, and I'm gonna be using this Maybelline Baby Skin Primer, which I got from a drugstore. So it's definitely affordable, um, and I like it so far. So I'm just going to rub that into my skin and let that sit a little bit before I move on to doing my brows. So once I finish prepping my skin with primer, I'm going to start on my eyebrows. So what I like to use is my Lori Mercier translucent powder. And I like to kind of like set my brows before I fill them in. I actually seen another YouTuber do this trick. So I've been doing it ever since. So I'm just going to dust some of that powder on my brows and then I'm going to fill them in using my Morphe brow pencil and this is in the color Java and of course I will link all of the products that I'm using down in the description box below so I'm just going to do my brows and then I'm going to come back once I start cleaning them up. So once I finish doing my brows, now I'm going to clean them up with some concealer. So this is the Too Faced Concealer and this is in the shade Maple. Now when I clean my brows, I only do the bottom. I do not clean up the top part of my brows because I like a more natural look with my brows. So I'm just going to clean up the bottom and as you can see, I'm not going to bring that concealer all the way down because I am going to go back in and add more concealer later on once I have my foundation on. So I'm just going to bring that concealer almost like halfway down my brow um, before I move on to foundation. So for a foundation, I'm gonna be using my NARS Soft Complete Matte Foundation, and this is in the shade New Caledonia. So I'm just gonna be adding a few drops all over my face, and then I'm going to be taking my NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Foundation Buffing Brush to just buff that into my skin. Now only you give me love and make me nice, so nice, so nice, so I feel make you mine, oh. Girl, I love you, plus I never make you mine, no. Oh. If I let you smoke, it's you gon' lose my light, oh. If you're paranoid, then I'm gonna spend the night, oh. You can get out of love every day. Time I dance with you, my money, I go pay. For your love, I go pay, oh. Yeah. And they make it money, Jay. So to highlight my face, I'm going to be using that same Too Faced concealer in the shade Maple and I'm just going to work on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, I'm going to be doing of course my under eyes, above my lip as well as my chin area. Give you many things we put them make you dance so 
So now that I have my concealer on, now I'm going to start blending that out. But what I like to do is use some setting spray. And this is the Morphe setting spray. I like to spray that on my blending brush before I go on to actually blending that concealer out. I feel like this helps um, the product a little bit better, you know, just to blend a little bit more flawlessly. And it also will, you know, set your concealer in place. So that's how I like to blend out my highlighted areas. So remember I told you guys earlier I was going to add some more concealer to my eyelids. So this is what I like to do while I'm um, blending out my highlighter. I like to use some of that excess product on my brush to just, you know, finish concealing my eyelids. So once I finish blending out my concealer, now I'm just going to take my foundation brush um, that I used early and I'm just going to blend out the edges of my makeup just to make sure that, um, you know, the concealer is blending flawlessly into my makeup and it's a soft transition. So once I finish doing that, I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just going to set all of the areas that I um, highlighted with concealer. <laughs> So for my eyelids, I'm going to be using this Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette and I'm going to be using that middle shade to set my eyelids. So I'm just going to be taking a buffing brush, a small buffing brush, and I'm going to just dust that um, powder all over my eyelids and this is going to set my eyelids. And then once I'm finished, you know, letting my highlighted areas bake a little bit, I'm just going to be taking a makeup brush and I'm going to be dusting that excess powder off. All right, so now I'm going to be taking my MAC Mineralizing Skin Finish Pressed Powder, and I'm going to be using that as a powder for my entire face. So I'm just going to, you know, dust that all over my face and make sure to really work that in um, and get all of the areas, especially that I did highlight. So when I'm doing my makeup, I don't actually contour my face, but I do like to use my bronzer as my contour. So I'm going to be using that all over the areas that you would typically, you know, contour your face. The only place that I will not be adding any bronzer to is my nose area, because as you can see, the way I highlighted my face, it kind of already has like that contoured look to my nose. So I'm just going to be doing my forehead area and of course my cheekbones.
So for blush, I'm going to be using this CoverGirl blush. And of course, this is another drugstore product. So it is super duper affordable. And I'm just going to be, you know, applying this onto my cheek area. And as you can see, you don't really need a lot um, because it is very pigmented. So be careful with the blush. And then once I finish that, now I'm going to take that same Morphe setting spray, spray that over my face. And then I take my powder brush and I just like to kind of like dab that, you know, setting spray into place. All right, y'all, so moving on to the lips, I'm going to be taking this NYX lip liner and I'm going to be aligning my lips. Um, now, y'all, my lip combo is not 100% perfect and I am still playing around with some things and seeing like what I like best. But as of right now, I'm just going to take that brown lip liner, line my lips, and then I'm going to be following it up with a lip plumper. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Maximum Lip Injection Lip Plumper. Um, and then I like to let that sit, you know, kind of like let it work a little bit before I go on to actually finish in my lip combo with my um, color and everything like that. So while my lip plumper is plumping, okay, I'm going to be taking some black eyeshadow and I'm just going to go along my waterline. Um, I like using this instead of like a black eyeliner because it kind of gives you like that smoky under eye look. So that's what I like to do. And I'm going to be taking a very thin um, makeup brush just to apply that on my waterline. So once I finish lining my waterline, I'm going to be taking some mascara just to, you know, um, fluff out my bottom lashes a little bit and make it look like it's something there. Now, typically I would be doing a wing liner, but because I have on eyelashes, I don't like to do a liner with my lashes. So that's why I will not be doing a um, eyeliner tutorial. But as you can see, now I'm finishing up my combo, my lip combo, and I'm using that Buxom, um lip plumping cream. This is another lip plumper. So... I just like to use that as my top coat just to give my lips a little bit of color. Now I'm gonna be taking my Anastasia Claire Brow Gel just to set my brows in place and you know, just to make sure everything's really locked in throughout the day. Complete my lip combo, I just like to take this NYX lip gloss in the color Fortune Cookie Add a little bit of that to the middle of my lips and kind of like smear that out but this is basically the finished look and this is how i do my makeup now of course you guys can always leave me some comments down below and some tips and stuff like that um that you guys do because i am still learning so this is the progress of my makeup so far so i'm super duper proud because y'all i cannot even explain to you how my makeup used to look okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys learned something of course you can always you know help me out as well so hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye